This gives us two equations and wants us to solve down for uh, the solution set x, y uh, to these two equations above. Well, it's going to be, let's rewrite them so we get kind of like terms together. So I'm going to write 3x plus 4y is equal to negative 23. And then I'm going to do negative x plus 2y is equal to negative 19. And as you know, I can't solve for two variables in one equation. I need to figure out how can I get this down to one variable. Look here, if I could turn this thing into a a negative 3x, then the x's would drop out. So I can multiply this whole bottom thing by 3. If, as long as I do it to each side, it's legal. And then you see my three, my x's will drop out, and then I can just solve for y. So this will turn into negative 3x plus 6y equals 19 times 3, which is 57. It's going to be a negative 57. All right, I rewrote it so you could see it. Now let me add these together. 3x minus 3x is 0. 4y plus 6y is 10y. And then negative 23 plus negative 57 is going to be negative 80. If I divide each side by 10, y then is equal to negative 8. So I know my uh, y variable is negative 8. And if I look at my answer choices, I, I don't even need to go back and solve for x because b is the only choice that has a negative 8 for y. Oops, sorry, that's a plus 3 and a negative 8 is choice B. So you see that I, I don't even need to do the extra work. Uh, so when you solve down for one variable, look at the answer choices, and it may be just like this one where you're done and only one choice will be possible.